Tune in and watch Lori and Amelia as they talk health and wellness, keep you in the know, highlight do-gooders in promo, and spill the tea in Never Have I Ever. And now, it's time for the rundown. Hey, how are you? Good morning, Amelia. It is morning. It's early. It is morning, and these are not eye patches. I just <laughs> want to make that clear. So let's get let's just hop right into it. Hello, and welcome to episode eighty-two of the Rundown. I'm Amelia Model with Promo Corner, and you are still Lori Bolton with Totally Bamboo. I am. We know who we are. We're doing good so far. We're good. We're good. But the reason I uh, look like this, these are not eye masks. These are, in fact, part of our sponsor, which is Wowline. So Wowline has a couple of new products on their line, and those include nail stickers. Lori, if you have some, pull them up while I read here. Yes. Um, and also they have under eye rally stickers, which I have on right here. So they are both made in the USA. They are fully customizable. Um, the nails include 14 full coverage, so enough for 10 fingers. And if you have extra fingers, they got you covered as well. Um, or if you mess up, because the first time you typically do. And they are latex free. And then these bad guys right here, you get your under eye stickers. And I picked green because St. Patty's Day just happened and just trying to show that off. Um, but these were actually part of Promo Corner's Picks of the Week by Katie Kaler with American Solutions. So again, they're made in the USA, fully customizable. They have two sets on each sheet and they are latex free. And um, you can purchase them in increments of 50. So thank you to our sponsor, Wowline. Go check them out at wowline.com. Okay. I love it, Amelia. And so you know what? For the nail ones, you can put them on your toes too. Oh yeah. That would fix my raggedy ass toes that need a pedicure <laughs> so bad. But it was just thinking, because I wouldn't necessarily put them on, like I've got them on two fingers. I would probably yes. do like maybe one more, but you could put them on your toes too. Yeah. Well, they're cute. Like the trend a lot of times is to have your nails painted and then just put like one on yeah. the ring finger or something. Yeah. We're good. So thank you, Wowline and John Short. I just saw him this week. So shout out to John Short. Uh, thanks, John. So what have you been up to? Girl. Well, I was at ASI Fort Worth, which was great. And my yes. girlfriend Leah came to work. And I think that's what we recorded last, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have been home for a week and I'm home for two more weeks. I don't travel again until April 1st. So I am very, very, very happy with that. Like, Bailey's like, my mommy's home. That is <laughs> uh, awesome. I know. Super exciting. So I've been trying to watch movies in my spare time. And just like schedule some of that time. Um, but yeah, and Pilates and walking and, you know, my Lori stuff. Your Lori stuff. Well, your house is pretty new. So you probably haven't accumulated too much since you're on the road. But do you feel the need to like do spring cleaning now that you're like home? Are you like, I do. Your home so much and you're like, mm, I want to move that or I want to rearrange this. For sure. Uh, for yeah. Apps, yeah, for sure. And I love that. Like, and I love this time of year. I mean, it's going to snow here this morning, but um, yeah. Um, it, I love, I just, yeah, I love this time of year. And Sunday I'm going to a baseball game and I know that it goes nine innings and I know that there's runs and like, I know that. Three strikes and the batter's out. Out, right? Um, um, three outs and they change. Yeah. So I know, I know the basics. So going with some okay. industry people and that's on Sunday, that'll be super fun. Cause it's spring training here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And did I tell you this? I think I told you this, that my nephew from New Zealand, my 16 year old nephew from New Zealand's in America playing basketball. Yes. So a real quick story. He is going to finish his high school. So he's going to, they're going to, I don't know how Carrie and John are doing this, but um, actually I do know how they're doing it. He's going to finish high school here. So there's another two years that he's going to be here. So John needs to go back to New Zealand. He's having some uh, back surgery. 
So guess who's in charge of this child? Auntie, auntie, auntie Lori. Yes. So I, he flies in from Albuquerque a week from today on Friday and um, I'll get him from the airport. And then he, he's got a basketball tournament all weekend in Phoenix. So we'll stay up there and then he'll come back to Prescott in between myself and Nana and Papa. This kid is going to be spoiled and well taken care of. No worries. Here. You can watch this, which I know you do from New Zealand. He'll be just fine. He he will be more than fine. He'll be pampered and loved and taken care of and all of the good stuff that aunties get to do. Yes, and I'm so excited. The kid's going to eat me out of house and home because he's like 6'4 and he eats like crazy. And I'm like, bring it on. And yes, I did introduce him to Instacart when I saw him. And he's like, this is super cool, auntie. So we'll be Instacarting groceries. You, yeah, watch your credit card bill. Kids eat a lot. It's crazy. Amelia, how does this happen? I don't know. And they like to eat out a lot. And yeah. um, the cost of eating out is just ridiculous. Just so expensive. I go to Subway and it's like $50 for three foot longs. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. A foot long sandwich is like $15 right now. It's crazy. Insane. Insane. Oh, what have you been up to? Ooh, allergy season. The trees are blooming and I'm like, I've been sneezing my head off and I forgot to take my pill. But let's see. So um, I was at PPAC Chicago and I am home for a week. And then I am going to St. Louis and Kansas City to do the PPA Midwest show right here. The spring premiere. Nice. So, Excited to go do that. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, oh, before, I'll tell you a little a story. But before I move on, I have to give a shout out to Dan Donaldson or Donalyn, Dan Donalyn of Showdown. So while I was at PPA Chicago, I had my booth. First time we've set up like small booths. And my table cover was kind of wrinkled because it was brand new and it'd been packed. And so I went all around and nobody had a steamer, not even any of the apparel companies. I was shocked. So Dan is local. He went home that night and brought his personal little steamer to me so that I could steam my table cover. And it's not just any steamer. It's the one he said his mom gave him when he graduated college. So it's like an antique. So shout out, Dan. That was so sweet of you to do. Above and beyond service. Oh my gosh, Amelia. Yes. And then That's beyond really beyond special. that, I I'm missing my daughter still. She'll um, have just gotten home by the time this drops, but she has been gone since March eighth. Yeah, so I've done pretty well. She's been super super busy with all the activities, but now she's in her host family's home. And I FaceTimed with her last night and she said that she just got so overwhelmed when she got there because the family does not speak a lot of English. So it's like a little challenging. And she said she got upset and started crying. And I was like, oh my God. she's like, but the mom is so nice. She hugged me and made me coffee and treats and <laughs> let me lay down and took a little nap. And <laughs> so it's so sad. I just it's so her. sad, Amelia, but you know what? So proud of her that she had the courage to go. Because this will all, this she will remember this for the rest of her life. And her children will know about the story. Like, it's incredible. It's it's awesome. So I'm very, very proud of her. And I love that now she's stationary. So I can FaceTime with her more. Because before she was moving so much, I could never, never knew where she was. And she had server, so... <laughs> Um, I, I, when I FaceTimed the dad got on when she was, and I was like, Hola. And then he started speaking and I was like, nope. <laughs> oh, like I, I can't speak that fast. I can talk to you, but I can't understand. <laughs> and, then he said, is... and I was like, did I hear pretty? And she's like, yes, he called you pretty. And I was like, okay. That's uh... all I, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Stop after Ola. Yeah. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, Lori, you have some health tips and I pre-read this when I was loading this. So let's hear it. Talk about it. I think this is kind of fun. So the circadian uh, chronotypes, if you guys mm -hmm. don't know um, about circadian rhythm, there's so much 
we're just talking about a little piece of this right now, which is our sleep patterns, but this is interesting. So I would love for you guys to comment on what you think you are. Um, or if you absolutely are confident, like, you know, I for sure am the lion without a doubt. I am naturally an early riser. I'm most protective in the, um, productive in the morning and everybody knows this about me. Now it all makes sense. When I go to, when I ditch out at events, I'll just say I'm the lion, uh, but I'm in bed between eight and 10, like clockwork last night. I think I crashed at nine 30. Um, and I do benefit from protein in the morning from um, breakfast. Uh, Amelia, I think you are going to be the wolf. Oh no. No. I would say I'm the dolphin. The dolphin. Struggles to wake up, fatigued all day, wired at night. Benefit. Okay, good. This is, see, this is good. The dolphin. The bear wakes with the sun. I do have, um, I do have somebody in my world that they have like automatic shades that go come up when the sun rises in their bedroom. And that is like, that wakes them. Like that's how they wake in their day, unless they have a flight or something to catch. But um, most productive late morning, afternoon slump, benefits from afternoon snack of protein and fat. And then the wolf, which is struggles to wake active in late in the evening, most productive in the evening, benefits from early dinner times. You know who the wolf is, is my son, Lucas. Lucas mm -hmm. is a wolf for sure. And night owl. So this is super fascinating. Um, and when I went through my, my coaching program in 2020, like you don't try to change somebody and you'll notice like even employers today have adjusted mm -hmm. people's schedule to where it's not so much like a nine to five. They really want to support people, the way people are born and the way they um, they operate with the sun and the moon. So I think it's super fascinating. Again, would love to know what you think you are when this airs, just drop a little message into the chat of what you are. Um, or maybe you've been something at one point and as you've grown older, um, you've changed to something else. So mm -hmm. I used to be a night owl, believe it or not, years and years, probably in my twenties, I was a night owl and we talked about this, lived on very little sleep, but now I'm 100% a lion. I'm a dolphin, which is the only animal sound I can't make out of that list. And I'm, I'm <laughs> I could try, but I don't really want to embarrass myself. I love her. So just going to skip um, out on that. Okay. Ooh. I think dolphins, they squeak, don't they? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I, I, so that's your yeah, with Lori. I, can, I can be a wolf. I can be a bear. I can do all that, but. All of it. The dolphin? I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what they do. I love it. <clears throat> moving on, moving on. So, <laughs> if you know, you know. There's my badass you know? unicorn. I love him. I don't know, Amelia. Like, Lori, I. What? Um, I don't think I've showed this to you, but I got this. I got you a present in Vegas and I haven't seen you yet. What? What? It's a bad oh my... says. Gosh, I love it. I need to have that. Uh, it's been I sitting on my that. desk right here since Vegas. Um, oh my I gosh, I love it. Thank you. It's so cute. So when we're together, I have one too. So I have to find mine. But when yeah. we're together, we'll just walk around with our badges. Yeah, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So uh, kind of a quiet time. There's still some some movement going on. So um, the first one, you know, you probably know her better than I do because she's out in the California area, Miss Beverly. Yes, I sit on um, the SAC Foundation board with her. So I do know Beverly. Yeah, so she is now at Breakaway Promo. And then um, Heather Mangold, who is at PPAI, she was just recently promoted. And I've seen she's been doing like a whirlwind tour, um, visiting a lot of clients. So now she's in a uh, strategic account manager. And then another promotion that's really a big deal. Sarah Bergen is now the COO at Cap America. And she is the first woman in the history of the Fredericktown company, Missouri based company to hold the COO position, a chief officer role. First woman in the history. They've been around for a while. That's 
Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. So that's so good. And then last but not least is just a shout out to our very own Hallie Moore for making it on the list of um, online 18. So her first year and she is just hitting the ground running. She's been at the company for a few years full time now and she is just killing it. Great job, Hallie. I love you. So proud of you. She's so, 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 so cute. Fun. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, so I found a do gooder. Do, have you found any? No, it's no, I have not, and I need to do better. I need to. I, they're right here. They're everywhere, right? I need to. They're I everywhere. To okay, well, so I have a do gooder, and I'm gonna pull this little thing up here. So Ooh. the Koozie Group, um, they are supporting United Way chapters, or they have for the last two years. So. Since 2022, um, they have started committing 5% or have committed to donating 5% of writing instrument sales to their regional chapters in Florida and Minnesota, which is where their offices are based. And they have generated over 30,000 in cash donations to a bunch of the regionals in those areas. And then beyond that, they've donated over $425,000 worth of in-kind donations. So that, that is huge. A lot of back-to-school activities, um, kids in the community, they do backpacks, markers, crowns, pencils, all the goodies that the kids would need for the United Way. So shout out to them. That is amazing. And I love finding these type of stories. So good. I love finding those stories too. Good job, Amelia. Good, good job, Koozie Group. Good job, Koozie Troop Group too. That, that, that. Yeah. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> <sighs> so you um, said that you've got to do some nesting and watch some movies. Yes. So, or I, I want to know if you've watched any of these. So um, I have not, but what I did was I selected or to choose what to watch. So there are the best pictures that were nominated for the Oscars. Yeah. Do you know what any of them are? Do you want me to read off the list to you? Yes. Read them off, okay. please. So um, Oppenheimer. Saw that. that. Love. Yes. I just watched it recently. Really good. Really American good. Fiction. No. Is that good? I have not seen it either. Um, I looked it up. It's I, I feel like it's based on a true story. Um, somebody I, I talked to this week said it started a little slow, but it was really good. So check that out. Um, Anatomy of a Fall. I have no idea what that's about. No. Barbie. Did you see Barbie? Yes, I saw Barbie. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie I world. <laughs> I thought it was good. Awful song that was popular in the nineties. It was really good. Um, the holdovers with Paul Giamatti. So I was watching it on my plane ride last night, but my flight ended. The movie's over two hours, and my flight was only an hour and twenty minutes, so I didn't get to see the ending. So I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. Um, Killer of the Moonflower with Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that good? Yes. Do you know it? It's the true story about um, how the whites went into the rich economy of the Indians where they struck oil and white men were marrying these Indian women. So they would be part of the family. And then they were slowly killing off the Indians. So they would inherit the money. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is, yeah. Is, did you see the movie? Is it a tough movie to watch? They um they don't go into great detail about that, but it it touches on it, but it's not like gory and stuff. But yeah, okay. it's it's a good movie and it's it's what happens. So it's yeah, yeah. Um Maestro. I've not seen that. It has Bradley Cooper, true story about a composer. I need to watch it just because Bradley Cooper's in it. I could care less. I know. He has a prosthetic nose, so it, it makes him look a little bit different as well. So um it's on my hit list. What's that called, um, Amelia? Maestro, or I guess Maestro, is that what the Maestro? Uh, Maestro, yeah. Um, past lives, no idea what that's about. I haven't heard of that one. 
poor things. With poor or poor? Poor. Poor. Like broke. It's got uh, Mark Ruffalo and Emma Stone in it. And there's a lot of nudity. Little innocent Emma Stone is naked a lot. And there's a lot of explicit Whoa. things. Part of the story, there's there's a lot of anatomy in there. It's a really weird Whoa. movie, but good. And she won Best Actress for it. So check it out. Amazing. Yep. Um, and then the last one is The Zone of Interest. I don't know what that is. No. No. Do you feel, Amelia, that like there's not as many movies like that come out that that used to like? I feel it's not as. I don't know. I don't know if it's because you don't have your normal channels anymore, and you've got like Peacock and Hulu, and you're not seeing the advertisements for the movies. Like I feel so out of the loop. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I don't go to the movie theater very often. Maybe like three times no. a year, I probably go to a movie theater. No. I typically wait till they come onto one of the streaming services, and yeah. then I can rent them. So I, all of these, I've rented on Netflix or Apple or whatever, and you had to pay for them. But it's just so convenient sometimes to have a pee break, especially if these movies are three hours long. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be able to pause the movie and go have a pee break and like get some more popcorn and not miss it. So yeah. So. Let me ask you what, since we're on movies and stuff, what is your favorite? Like if you only had one platform to pick from for to watch movies, what would that be? Mm, to watch movies. Like what's your go-to? Is it Netflix? Is it Apple? Is it Amazon? Is it Peacock? Um, Hulu? Right now I've been doing Hulu mostly. Yeah. And I think it's because it has different it has different things. So there's so many things that I hadn't seen versus I've been watching the others so much. Like I was like, there's nothing new. There's nothing new. But I go back. I go back and forth. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah, but I now that it's gonna it be summer, I won't. I'll be. Yeah, I won't be watching because I'll be sitting outside all the time, just I love it. soaking up the sun. I love it. Okay, so Lori, we're gonna spill some tea on Never Have I Ever. Boop, boop. I love spill it. Okay. So um, in honor of the movies that we were talking about and going into the movie theater, which we both said we don't do a lot, the question is, never have I ever snuck food into a movie theater? Um oh, you not gotta think food. About this. Yeah, well, I not food, alcohol. Back in the day, we would sneak alcohol, but this is before they checked bags. This is ancient times, you know. Wine cool. Back in the day, bed. girl, I did this like last year. <laughs> well, now they have the movie theaters that you can actually buy alcohol. You can, but one glass of wine is like twelve dollars. I'm like, no, thank you. I can get a four pack of those little tiny bottles of wine and sneak them in. My I love it. So you just did it last year. So I haven't done food, but I have mm -hmm. done, I've done alcohol. Okay. And my kids like to go to Dollar General or whatever and get like their candy. And then mm -hmm. we sneak that in because you can get like a $2 box of candy or a $10 box of candy. And it's the exact same. Yeah. Which is so crazy. But yes, I only alcohol. Yes. So the reason they do that, which most people don't know because they just rake you over the coals on yeah. food and stuff, it's because movie theaters don't make, honestly, any money off of showing the movie itself. The studios take such a high percentage of the sales. They don't make hardly anything on tickets. So to keep the theater running, they have to make their profits on the food and drink. So Crazy. it's like 500% markup on food and drink so they can keep it going because the studios just charge outrageous amounts for getting in the most recent releases. That's crazy, actually. Yeah. We used to, my family and I used to, we used to own a movie theater in the little town next to us. It was the oldest working movie theater in the United States. It's like, we got a Guinness book. And so it was, it was crazy. But yeah. That is crazy. Is it still there? 
It is still there. We sold it. We don't know. Nobody in the family owns it anymore. It was it was a money pit, as you can imagine, because yeah, it's a small oh town. And, yeah, mm, crazy. Very cool, Amelia. Yeah. So there's a little nugget that people maybe did not know about me. So Lori and I are lawbreakers. We're lawbreakers. We're clearly yeah. lawbreakers, and I think it's I, in our family I, too. I did get a text from my mom after our last episode dropped and she's like, oh, I learned a lot about you. And it was, uh, we talked about never have we ever used a fake ID. I'm like, I got to watch what I say in this because my mom watches and she'll be able to call me out on all my high school antics. <laughs> mom, I'm fine. Look, I'm fine. I'm married. I've got two kids. I'm fine. I'm career. normal. Super, so normal. super normal. Well, Love shout it. out again to our sponsor, Wow Line. Look at all these. I'm gonna be. Yay. I'm gonna do my awesome toes. Happens. That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hopefully, they that's fit my big toe. They'll fit, and if not, put two. <laughs> like now, we're going out, back like to ghetto. I can just paint my toenails. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so a good check them out, girl. Yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you um, give us any do-gooders, industry news, and tune in again on April 12th for a new episode. And April 12th also is National Gardening Day. Ooh. So we, we can talk some gardening. And then thanks again to Wildline. Go check out wildline.com. We'll see you all next time. Bye.